this disc is a strobe tachometer. When it spins and you shine a fluorescent light on it, these little bands right here will tell you the speed that it's running at. Um, when the lathe reaches a speed that the band is calibrated at, that band will sort of appear to stand still. And I'll show you that in a moment. This particular disc is, cal is um, set up for 300 RPM all the way up to 2400 RPM. And I'll show you what that looks like. And you can see on this band here, the first band here, 300 RPM, that it appears to stand still. And as I move up in speed with the other bands appear and disappear. A couple of the bands are very close together. You also notice that as I pass the speed, the band for just a moment appears to run backwards. And then the next band will appear. I'll show you real quick how I made those bands. These discs are very simple to make, and basically, I mean, for me, they were practically free, uh, just the cost of a little bit of printer ink. I found the images, uh, Google image search, I believe I searched under uh, strobe tachometer disc, <clears throat> and my original idea was to print them out on CD-ROM labels and adhere them to CDs. But I found that my printer couldn't print in the same place twice, and I had a terrible time uh, getting centered on the label, so I gave up on that idea. What I ended up doing was printing them out on just pieces of paper, and this happens to be a, uh, a nice quality inkjet paper, but a uh, regular plain white paper will work equally well. I cut out some pine discs with my jigsaw, trued them up on my lathe so they're nice and, and symmetrical around and uh, I used some spray glue to adhere them to the pine discs. And I just centered them by eye, and I either got it done on or I got it really very close. It doesn't really seem to matter. They, they work extremely well. Uh, if you search for these online, you'll find that some are calibrated for 60 hertz lights, which we have here in the United States, and, and there are some uh, designed for 50 hertz lights, which they use overseas. And if for some reason you can't find the 50 hertz graphics, uh, you can also do a little bit of math to convert, you know, for example, a, a 300 RPM band on here may convert out to something like, I, I don't know, like maybe 380 RPM under a 50 hertz light. So it will, both types of discs will work. You just may, if you can't find the 50 hertz discs, uh, may have to do a little bit of math. So these were very simple to make. They were practically free, um, just pennies and ink cost. And they should work on just about anything that spins, uh, a lathe, a drill press, anything that you want to find out the speeds that it runs at. I found out that on my lathe, uh, using a variety of discs, I think I, I used a total of four discs. And uh, I just reused the same pine discs and, and put graphics on both sides. And the four discs I used were calibrated in a range of speeds. One was from 60 RPM up to 180 RPM or something like that. And another one was, uh, for example, this one is 300 RPM to 3600 RPM. And um, actually, I have another that goes up to 7200 RPM. And I cross-referenced. I, I didn't just use one disc and rely on it, but I, I used all four discs and cross-referenced cross cross the results just to make sure that all the discs you know, were accurate and they, they all agreed with one another, so they must be. Uh, some of you may recognize these from uh, phonographs back in the days when we used to play vinyl records. Uh, many phonographs would have these type of graphics around the outside edge so that you could set the speed correctly for 33 or 45 RPM. Uh, you can, if you have one available or if you want to buy one, you can buy a dedicated strobe light uh, that 
will also work exceptionally well with these, but I found that just using the overhead fluorescent lights in my shop worked perfectly well, and uh, I didn't need to buy anything. So there you have it, um, strobe tachometer discs. If you have a lathe um, or drill press or any type of machinery and you don't know what speed it's actually running at, for just pennies, you can make one of these and find out.